as the central government launches the Unified Pension Scheme, UPS in response to the concerns of government employees about the security of their pension income. After retirement, the question arises, should employees consider switching from the new pension scheme? NPS to the UPS, expert opinions are divided. Durendra Kumar, CEO of Value Research, advises that those who believe in India's growth story and have many years until retirement may benefit from sticking with the existing NPS for potential equity market returns. He suggests that NPS can offer substantial growth for those with 10 to 20 years left in government service. On the other hand, Suresh Sadagopan, a SEBI registered investment advisor and CEO of Ladder 7 Wealth Planners, emphasizes the appeal of guaranteed income in the newly introduced UPS, with the UPS offering 50% of the average basic pay from the last 12 months, government employees can secure a significant monthly pension. Sadagopan recommends eligible NPS subscribers to consider switching to the UPS to ensure their basic post-retirement lifestyle is secured and with the option to set up a separate equity investment plan for any additional needs. It is important to note that while the UPS provides guaranteed pensions, it differs from the old pension scheme, OPS. The UPS is a fully funded scheme where employees contribute 10% of their basic pay plus dearness allowance and the employer's contribution. The central government has increased to 18, 5% from the previous, 14% under the NPS. Preeti Chandrasekhar, India business leader, health and wealth at Mercer Consulting, explains that an inflation-linked uh, scheme like the uh, UPS mitigates interest rate and longevity risks for employees, as these risks are now assumed by the government. However, experts indicate that careful management of the UPS corpus is essential, given that it is a mix of defined benefit and defined contribution schemes. Both the central government employee and the employer will contribute to the corpus. Of the 18.5% contribution from the government, 8.5% will go into a separate guarantee reserve fund designed to cover any shortfalls in meeting pension commitments. This underscores the need for strong governance over the investment of these funds, especially the guaranteed reserve fund, to ensure the sustainability of the scheme without placing additional burdens on the government. Ultimately, the decision to switch from the NPS to the UPS depends on an employee's individual financial goals, risk tolerance, and years left in government service. It is crucial for employees to carefully consider their options and seek expert financial advice to make an informed decision about their pension income. After retirement, the UPS offers guaranteed income, but it is important to assess whether it aligns with an individual's financial needs and aspirations.